so the alpha for Vanguard has now concluded, but over the last 24 to 36 hours, we actually learned a lot more about the future of Vanguard and some of those fundamentals we'll be seeing with presumably the beta and even the launch of the game. So today we're going to break down some of that stuff we learned here. As we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. Are you guys looking forward to anything in particular out of what we discuss here at this? Anything maybe not so much? Whatever the case may be, let me know your thoughts down below. But as well, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. Let's aim for a thousand likes here on this video. And of course, if you're new to the channel with nearly 60% of viewers not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing running all things Call of Duty Vanguard and anything COD related. There's going to be a lot of stuff on the channel coming up very soon that you don't want to miss, so stick it here. That said, let's jump right into the discussion at hand. So as of this weekend, the alpha for Call of Duty Vanguard came and passed. Champion Hill was playable here the last couple of days. And honestly, I'm kind of surprised that they didn't extend the alpha by a whole extra day. It was extended by like two or three hours afterwards of that 10 a.m. Pacific time yesterday. Personally, I'm a bit bummed because I didn't get to play a whole ton. Only the first day of the alpha that sort of afternoon when it launched on Friday. Then I was out from Friday night to basically now when I'm just sitting down to make this video a couple of hours before it goes live here, which admittedly is also why I didn't really get around to having an alpha thoughts and feedback video like we normally do for alphas and betas. I just genuinely don't feel like I've played enough to give an accurate representation of my thoughts for the alpha and what was playable. I think I only caught like eight to nine to 10 matches in total here of run throughs through Champion Hill. But anyways, what's What's interesting is that out of the last couple of days here in the last 24 to 36 hours in particular, a lot of stuff came out of the alpha in regards to upcoming builds of the game here. And I'll be totally honest with you. I don't quite know the context. I don't know how people got these. Some things I know did bug out. Players could see the create a class menu with it, but others, it seemed like it was more so leaked or pulled in some other way. But either way, what we're going to be talking about here in this video, unfortunately, I can't showcase any of the images on screen right now for copyright reasons. That's still intellectual property of Sledgehammer Games and Activision. So unfortunately, I can't share that with you guys here. I'll do my best to explain in as much detail and paint that accurate picture for you, but the actual images will be linked down there in the description below, assuming they're still up by the time this video makes it to your sub feed. So for the first thing that we're going to talk about, the first thing I ended up seeing was from Twitter user Medina's HD, whose game bugged and then showed initial preview and basic details of create a class, which naturally should seem odd because we have no create a class option available within the Champion Hill Alpha. That was simply just queuing and like gunfight, you have your own base basic weapon builds here that you can end up getting. But through this, we got a little bit of a look at the pop-up menus that explain those new features like we've seen in Modern Warfare and Warzone, but also in some cases within Cold War as well. That sort of trifold display of some things you can see within in this case, create a class and the edit loadout details. We also saw that these images in front of that show off some more details as well, and you get a little bit of that gun bench preview in the background with the actual loadouts available there. But each of these three panels on that display showcase a little bit of the loadout menu and some of those pieces of interest in regards to them. We see the gun bench from Modern Warfare returning. It was kind of there in Cold War, but more so reskinned as like the gun wall. We also see a few perk layouts, i.e. tier one, two, and three, and perhaps to to me, the most interesting part of all of this in particular is an image that showcases the 10 attachments on offer that you can have for a weapon build here at this. So starting with that, that has been rumored for quite some time now, at least a couple of weeks here. But to now see it kind of confirmed here through this, I don't think that we'll see this change within the beta and then the launch of the game, scaling it back down to But 10 attachments having been rumored and now air quote confirmed again, because there is still the possibility something changes, even though I don't think that will happen. The implications of that seem pretty wild. That could make for some insane gunplay here. One of the big things that I thought was a strange crossover from Cold War to Modern Warfare and Warzone was that we got used to weapons with five attachments within Modern Warfare. But then when you get to Cold War, you have the option to add with the wildcard gunfighter eight attachments on there where you can have one attachment for every category on your gun build that made things already pretty wild in sort of a disconnect from what we saw with black ops cold war to what we saw with modern warfare and Warzone. but when you consider some of the attachments we saw with say things like incendiary rounds explosive rounds fmj rounds just in the alpha on some of these plus adding in another nine other attachments on top of that weapon build for multiplayer vanguard that could be crazy, but it could also then further that divide of how things feel within Vanguard multiplayer versus in Warzone. I mean, if Modern Warfare and Warzone still holds up after this integration of Vanguard weaponry, that means you could have weapon builds in multiplayer double the attachment loadouts as you could in Warzone, unless they somehow change that with an overhaul to Warzone itself to allow for 10 attachments, but that'd be kind of wild. But then we ended up getting even more information here out of the Ghosts of MW, associated with known leakers, data miners here in 
in the community and we ended up getting some information in regards to things like weapon stats the inspect animation other create a class info and all things like that so the weapon stats it seems like here based off of if this build is true that we get a little bit of a combination between modern warfare stats as well as black ops cold war one of the really cool things that i thought out of the create a class within black ops cold war was the fact that you ended up having detailed weapon statistics meaning you could end up seeing things like all the way down to the initial values not necessarily just weapon stat bars that you ended up seeing in games previously of course in modern warfare you had those plus and minus icons that denoted the pros and cons of weapons but you didn't really quite get to see the actual statistical values right there in front of you that's what black ops cold war introduced and that seems to be returning here on top of the sort of modern warfare centric creator class that we end up seeing here with gunsmith so best of both worlds kind of and for that i'm all for that the inspect animation looks to be exactly identical to that of what we have in modern warfare other creator class stuff includes no wild cards just like modern warfare so unfortunately that's not something we'll see returning from black ops cold war and weapon levels look to again follow similar to how modern warfare had it with much higher levels as well with the stg 44 apparently maxing out at level 71 meaning 71 attachments as well between attachments optics perks and all that kind of stuff that you can rank up here at this and my only thought when it comes down to that higher rank of weapon level is that it's not going to be something like black ops cold war where ranking up the weapons may be the most tedious part modern warfare had more levels yes but i thought that you could end up completing those weapon leveling grinds a lot faster than you could compared to say black ops cold war weaponry that always capped out at 55 for primaries but when we have this information in front of us here it's quite interesting and i think that there could be some design concerns and thoughts that i have but before we jump into that i want to take a quick second to thank my friends over at gamer advantage if you game work on a computer or even look at your phone for prolonged periods of time a day chances are you've felt some effects of blue light in your life I'll swear by it, I think that their glasses have helped me out the most day-to-day -day out of any partner that I have. Durable, comfortable, prescription compatible, and best of all, no visual distortion like a yellow hue and the lens that other glasses companies would have. They're the best on the market if you ask me, and I firmly believe that. So if you want to pick up any pair for yourself and protect your vision health, check the link in the description below and use code ESPRESSO if you pick anything up to net yourself a 10% off discount on your entire order. But anyways, those design concerns and thoughts, one thing is that this seems very, very similar in nature to Modern Warfare. And of course, you probably picked up on that, given that you saw the alpha gameplay here on the channel and probably experienced it for yourself. The thing to me that with nearly an identical UI and design to Modern Warfare, I get it. I do. You're building off the back of that game's engine and optimizing it all while trying to make it super easy to work with Warzone and make it as easy of a transition from one game to the next. Though I got to admit, 10 attachments versus five will be way weirder in that conversion than say max of eight was within Cold War. So we already talked about that kind of, that'll be really interesting to see how that all plays out. But I think perhaps my biggest sort of concern here with this is how much it feels like a new game, a new experience and something worthwhile to grind out. That was one of the big things that whenever I took a look back at games, say like Infinite Warfare, that was so much built so off the back of Black Ops 3 and tried to mirror that build with rumored a lot of Treyarch development actually going into into that game. I don't think we'll ever know the true details of it, but that game was almost like just an expansion pack for Black Ops 3 in a different setting in a different era. UI, gameplay feel, it was all very similarly built. So when you have a game like this that is so much like, if not identical to another game, my only concern really comes down to how much of a true new feel does it have, if you know what I mean. Black Ops Cold War to me, I thought right off the bat felt weird because we did have so much in terms of similar UI. When we come back to this though, when it may have identical UI and other elements, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. But I guess right now it's a little bit too early to judge in any of that capacity because of course, none of us have had hands-on gameplay with the beta or the full build in any representation outside of just this niche little mode of Champion Hill. So for right now, again, I'm reserving judgment until we get to see more of the game here, more hands-on experience, but it's interesting to learn all this kind of stuff here. And again, just out of the alpha, nothing really showcasing any of this stuff with things like shop items even being introduced and leaked here via the alpha but to get a more relative grasp on the core mechanics we'll be having at launch here it's definitely interesting to consider so i think that's where we're gonna wrap it up wanted to fill you guys in on some of the things happening out of call of duty vanguard here in the last 24 to 36 hours keep you guys in the loop so let me know your thoughts down below are you guys looking forward to anything we talked about here 10 attachments i'm incredibly interested to see how this works out so are you guys looking forward to that not so much you're looking forward to the return of the modern warfare create a class with some mixed elements of black ops cold war whatever the case may be let me know your thoughts down below but hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you drop a like down below and of course if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing all things van
Vanguard and to anything COD related. If you guys also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, practically on both those. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever the case may be, that link is down there in the description below. That said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.